So when you do your roof block, it's, it's very similar to a roof block test is a human compression test. And so it is. A compression test. Except we're using a human instead of a shovel in our hand. Okay. Um, so make your pit wall, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? But you want to have your pit wall so that you can actually um, see see the fracture coming across the wall. Alright, so you want it minimum, it should be approximately two meters wide. Minimum of 200. Um, 201, 203 is fine. No longer than that. And you want to be a meter 50 up the back. And you want to make it just slightly trapezoidal. Why do I want to do that? So it slides out. Yeah, exactly. So I get one of you guys just to go up and put the probe in the end there. Right at the... Just behind there. Alright. Ropes won't work in ice Okay, so who skis here? Sorry? You ski here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you ski there... Somebody to get the skis on? Are there runs down here to get the bottom of the chair? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Billy, you're close. It's in band. Yeah. Yeah, this is all... The like boundary. The boundary. logging, like, I think... We're ready to jump on this bad boy. So, roosh block scores. Let's talk about roosh block scores. Uh, roosh block one means that it fails while you're doing this. Okay, is that a bad thing? Yeah, yeah so it's <laughs> stability, right? I've seen that happen, it's pretty scary. Um, a roost block two is where Phil's gonna now stand onto the block. And he's gonna go in about 35 centimeters or so, kind of into the top third, right in there. So this is a roost block two. So we've added a human being to this block. Right? Is this this a uh, sign of instability? If it goes? Yeah. Yeah, roost block three is where you wait to be. That means standing up tall and doing one of these. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> give her. See you, Phil. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, get more. A little more flex. Yeah, you're just kind of like, you're dropping your weight down. You, you don't want your, the only thing you don't want to do here is have your feet leave the ground, right? So stand up tall and I, I'm just putting some weight into the snow. So that's a roosh block three. Okay, if it goes, is that a sign of instability? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's not a lot, right? Okay, roosh block four is a big old jump. All right. Goes on a roost block four. What do you think? Bad? Good? Bad. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's like one freaking little turny thing. You know? Roost block five. Pound yeah. the shit out of it. Jump. Up you go. These are all in the top third. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay, now what you want to do is you can try, if you're looking for deep slabs or hard slabs, you pop your skis off. All right, and then you're going to jump in the block with your, with your boots. That'll be a roosh block six. What do you guys think would be an acceptable roosh block number score to go ski a slope? Five. Six or seven? Six or seven. Six or seven. When you get your legs down in there, yeah, and then it slides, whatever number that is. A roosh block five, it's, it's gone with you jumping on it twice. So let's say you're skiing down a slope and there's a little mushroom, you know, I'm gonna pop the mushroom. Bang, zip. Right? Okay. Roosh block six, you're really pounding into that. You're really getting into that deep slab, right? Jump away there, Phil. There's no way, right? 
Yeah. That's it. We're not going this is anywhere. what we call a Roosh Block 7, no result. All right.